It's a beautiful morning. <laughs> Go fuck yourself. Oh, I didn't want to get up today. I had a horror of a time falling asleep last night with kitty cat. And she was being all crazy wazy and Oreo was being all stupid. And he was barking at him in his crate because he's got to be nice to kitty kitty. And he's not nice to kitty kitty. Well, I'm going to make some breakfast because frig yeah. I've been up for half an hour now. It's 2.30, 2.31, and uh, my guts have finally settled, so let's bang out some bracky. Holy shit, I didn't realize it was snowing that bad. Let's see if we can black out the screen. I'm backing out a little bit. Look at the friggin' snow coming out out there. My goodness. We're gonna have the snow blow tomorrow, for sure. Woke up to, uh, well, woke up to a video from Marcel, him telling the rest of the world, so I guess it's okay if I talk about it. Uh, yeah, it looks like uh, his wife, Got a job out a little bit more uh, western, is that right? Yeah, than Ontario. She got a promotion, and this requires Marcel to move to Edmonton, on uh, Edmonton, Alberta. I almost said Edmonton, Ontario, because that's totally a fucking place. So basically, they got to pack up their, they got like 30 days to pack up their shit and get the frig out. No, not even that, 20 days, 19, probably 18 now, freak sakes. By the time you guys watch this, it'll probably be three. But, uh, yeah, so they've got a frig off and head out west, so he's not really too excited for it, but I don't blame him because he's leaving a lot behind, you know, he's got his house and scrapping business and all of his friends and his family and all this and that, and it's kind of aggravating, right? I know I'm going to be going through some similar thing possibly in the future when I try to figure out what the fuck to do with myself when I lose my job and uh, my toaster is a piece of shit oh uh, not doing bacon today people just gonna do two eggs and two toasts and that should be good still feel like cooking bacon today probably have bacon tomorrow it's probably not good to have bacon every friggin' day kind of bang this into me and then uh, yeah yeah watch some more YouTube's what the hell's really going on been noticing some weird shit on YouTube oh did you, did you guys notice I shaved Probably should have mentioned at the beginning of the vlog. Got rid of the neck beard as much as I could. Still want to bring this up to a little higher. Thin it right out. Go right across the jawline if I could ever find it. And I'm thinking about just ditching the mustache because I don't really, don't really care for it much anymore. So, probably going to ditch that too and then just keep the chin strap and go from there. Because having that big beard was annoying. But anyway, uh, yeah, so I've been noticing this thing on YouTube. Like the all day vlog that didn't quite get there. You come over here and it says 859 views, 61 likes, 17 dislikes, 0 comments. Well, the problem with that is, where's my mouse? If I go to click on comments, it won't let me into this, the thing, right? But if I load up the video and pause it and then scroll down here, you can totally see that there's freaking comments! Like, what's going on? What's going on? Yeah. Yeah, that's, uh, kind of shitty dick. I don't know what the hell's going on, but... Normally, when there's nonsense like this happening, it's because YouTube's doing shit behind the scenes. And when they're doing shit behind the scenes, that's when shit hits the bed. They, like, that's when there's gonna be a big change, Something's gonna frig up. Us, the content creators, are gonna take the blunt of it, and it's the way she goes. So I really don't know what is happening with YouTube. It's pretty dicked. Uh, like I said, they changed the way my freaking uh, subscription page looks. They've done that, and they've gone ahead and changed the way other things look on my screen too, which is kind of weird. So they're doing something. They're doing something. What I don't know, but they're doing something. Freak sakes. So I did more work on this thing here. One of the common faults with micro USB is you get a lot of shit and grime ganged up in there. And basically what I did was I took a toothpick, right? And I flattened it out using a knife. I whittled it down. And I got in there and cleaned out as much dirt that I could grip and uh, extracted it. But you plug it in, the light turns on, but the battery's not getting voltage, which I think means there's probably a short at either the charger or the line going to the battery or to the actual Evolve chip. Which means i got to probably take this fucking thing apart again. And you know what? I am sick and tired of taking this freaking thing apart that I'm just going to scrap this case, get another box for the... Uh, for the uh, freaking chip, the DNA 30, yep, and uh, go from there because this thing is not accepting a battery charge. 
But like it chooches, it'll chooch this here 0 0.7 build all fucking day long and it does a good job of it too. Like uh, what do we got here for? Well let's give her the big old 30. We'll give her the big old 30 chooch. Probably be easier if I held it this way so you can actually see it. But as you can tell, this thing's seen a lot of dust. It's a shame. It's a nice looking mod. It was just built so shitty. You know, it gives you a good 30 watt chooch, but like look, the battery's already ready to flatline for fuck's sake. So like that's no good. And it just powered off because the battery freaking ran out of voltage. Like, I don't know. I really don't know. Like, I got a 40 amp pulse, 20 amp nominal in here, and the switch is only, it'll only let you go down to what, 0.3. I'm going down to 0.7, so I, I don't really know what the freaking problem is with this thing. What I need to do is get, uh, like I said, a HANA box, drive this chip and everything into it. Oh, I miss the taste of a delicious RDA. But yeah, if I just drive a chip and a, uh, I drive the chip into a HANA box, I can use that to control my uh, freaking this guy, this guy, because that dripper on this thing at 40 watts is amazing. It's amazing. It cranks. Like, this is not too bad. Listen to this. Freaking snappy McSnapperton's over here. Like, the Atlantis does a good job, but it sure as fuck ain't no dripper. Holy shit, and here I thought Windows 10 was going to be a piece of shit. I so take it back, people. Windows 10 is going to be awesome, especially if you own a micro Microsoft Xbox. Sorry, Microsoft Xbox One. If you have a Microsoft Xbox One, you're going to love Windows 10 because it has this great feature where you can stream your gameplay from your Xbox to your PC. Now, do you know what that means to the gaming community? That means the gaming community can now play Xbox One games on their PC and use a program like Action or Fraps to record the footage right to their PC, no longer needing a piece of hardware like the whole Posh PVR, essentially making that kind of sort of obsolete if you think about it. Because I think the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 can already stream to popular things like Twitch and uh, I'm trying to think of other streaming medias other than Twitch, but I freaking can't right now. So we're just going to run with Twitch. And uh, yeah, there's Ustream as well. I forgot about them and so on and so forth. But, um, you know, with the ability to play it on a desktop or mirror it to a desktop, as long as there's no friggin' latency, like it's not like, you know, really, really bad, kind of like a, a screen share or virtual window or whatever the hell you want to call it. Look at all the powder snow. Oh, my God. Looks like a frosted donut. Look at it. It looks like a frosted donut. Frosted donut G6 year year year. But yeah, as long as like the video latency is not too bad and it's not like, you know, you press the joystick like the input lag on the TV when I have true motion on, you know, where you move the mouse an inch and then you got to wait a second for the mouse to actually move on the screen. If it's not like that, if it's like fucking on the fly smooth as shit, hells yeah. Apparently Microsoft made some new browser. Personally, I think all they did was just slap a new logo on Internet Explorer and added a couple more features to it to deceive us to think that it's not Internet Explorer. But I know your plans, Microsoft! And apparently they're supposed to be like, this is basically what they wanted to do with Windows 8. They wanted one OS for all platforms. One OS for the tablets, one OS for the computers, one OS for the phones. So Windows 10 is supposed to be seamlessly compatible any device that you have, whether it be phone, tablet, PC. So I'm wondering now if my Dell XPS 10 Windows 8.1 RT tablet is going to get a Windows 10 upgrade because they said Windows 10 is free with any Windows 8.1. So the thing up here is telling me they're going to give me Windows 10 on that tablet. And if they did, it might serve as more of a purpose than just an alarm clock. Just saying. But anywho, I got to get off to work, but I'm a little excited for Windows 10. It's going to be everything Windows 8 couldn't be. It's going to be awesome. Well, the window's pretty vapey in here, but zero fucks given. Let's go to work, and we'll do a rolling vlog, I guess. For yeah. So yeah, in all honesty, kind of looking forward to Windows 10. I'll probably give her a go on the XPS 9000 first, see if it's a puddle of shit, or if it's actually any good. And if it's any good, then we will roll with it. 
Now, from my understanding, as a we're sorry for fucking up big times, uh, Microsoft is offering Windows 8 point, or Windows 10, sorry, to uh, users running Windows 8.1 and 7 for free, but only for one year. Now, to my understanding, this is not a subscription-based operating system. That's not what they're thinking. Because, well, fuck that wouldn't work and nobody would bite. Everybody would be like, fuck that nonsense. There's no way I'm paying them a monthly fee for an operating system that's probably still riddled with bugs. You know, unless it got, like, literally live support, like a problem occurred in a Microsoft dick was like on your computer right away fixing it you know type thing but uh, to me what it sounds like is they're giving us a one year to choose just like they did with Windows 8 point or Windows 8 you know when it first became a retail option Microsoft had it where you could buy it for a computer if you had Windows 7 you could upgrade the computer to Windows 8 and it was like 20 bucks and they sent you the discs cheap as piss to me, that's what they're doing with Windows 10. Is the first year the upgrade's going to be free, and if you want a digital, co if you want like a physical copy on a CD, it's probably going to cost you money. Like I could have done the Windows 8 upgrade back in the day for 10 bucks, or I think it was like 30 if you got the CDs mailed to you. And what the fuck is this guy? He just Jesus Christ, bro! Can I at least make my turn? Fuck! This guy literally turned into the lane that I came out of to go around me to go straight while I was already mid-turn. Like, are you freaking for real right now? Is that how we drive, people? Oh my goodness. This is why there's accidents. It's because people think they're fucking stunt car drivers and they drive like assholes. It's like the ground's slippery and fuck. You gotta start braking like three weeks before you get to the stop sign. Otherwise your tires kick out and your ABS turns on and then you gotta listen to vendor bang out another robot for a bit until it locks up and finally gets your car stopped. So that's always lovely, but yeah. But yeah, also Windows 10 apparently is gonna have a Cortana support. Ooh, Cortana from Halo. So you apparently you can do like voice commands and stuff. And I don't know, I think the coolest piece of tech they released was that uh, freaking holographic lens technology where it's like a set of Marty, uh, Marty McFly Back to the Future freaking glasses that you put on and it kind of reminds me of the ones from from back to the future but mainly if you've ever seen the show Johnny Mnemonic when he goes into the web to hack his buddy's bulletin board system and he just puts on those glasses and those gloves and he's like fucking pulling and pushing like boards around and flipping them open and his way of hacking was kind of like solving a Rubik's Cube type thing and to me it reminded me of that kind of a scenario and then Buddy's sitting there and he's playing Minecraft on his coffee table in VR. So the VR realm is throwing this like, oh, it just, it looks so cool the way he was doing it. I was like, man, if I had that, I'd forget to live. <laughs> so I should probably stay away from that technology because I'd be sitting there fucking playing Minecraft all day long. And Oreo and Scampers would be looking at me like I got something wrong with my head. Well, I do, but, you know, that's besides the point. But, um... Yeah, another exciting day in the bay, eh? Frig, where did this snow come from? Are they calling for this? Am I just not paying attention to the weather network anymore? I don't know. Thank the fuck, it's Friday. Then we got the weekend here, and I have no idea what we're gonna do this weekend. Um, probably keep it pretty cheap. I got a couple computers on the, uh, I wanna take a look at that one Acer. I wanna take a look at both of those computers actually downstairs in the freezer. I know the one's fucked beyond belief, but the other one is salvageable. Um, I also got a tablet that I need to configure for my aunt because she has nothing to play video games on and she'd really like a tablet and I have the old Acer Iconia that I do not use because I have no purpose for it which sucks because it's a good tablet it's a dual core 1.2 gigahertz 1.0 gigahertz somewhere around there it's a Tegra chip anyway so it's not exactly a slouch but uh, my aunt has no gaming computer and she'd like an iPad or an Android tablet or something like that that she can just sit on the couch and watch her shows and, you know, play around a Mahjong or some shit. So I'm going to bring her the old Acer. I just got to set it up with her own Google account and get everything all situated and then, yeah, it'll be fucking glorious. She'll be able to go online and, well, I don't think she'll have internet unless she goes to like Hortons or something. But uh, she'll be able to at least play a bunch of video games and, and, and such and just take it easy, you know? 
And I'm not doing anything with that tablet, so fuck. It's not like I'm gonna miss it. Not like I'm gonna miss it anyway. So whatever, we're gonna be short staffed again today, people. Yeah, it's been short staff week here at uh, here this past little bit between. Because uh, if you're wondering why the video of Scamper getting her operation was on a Thursday and not a Wednesday, I said on a Wednesday, but I was like, you know what? I better correct that because if I fake it on a Wednesday to make you guys happy, the guys at work are gonna think that I called in sick because of the cat, and I super didn't. You know, the vet told me I can leave her; she should be fine. But uh, no, I was fucking turbo sick on Wednesday. Wednesday, you know, still grumpy tummy on Thursday. That's why I didn't film yesterday. Well, I filmed yesterday, but I didn't film much. I was trying to go back to bed and I couldn't sleep at night because I was puking and fuck, man. Just fuck. But yeah, I didn't film on Wednesday. I called the vet and said, listen, I'm so bloody sick right now. I don't even want to get out of bed. Is there anything we can do? And she said, well, listen, we have an opening tomorrow, but you got to get your cat in at exactly eight o'clock big times. And I was like, oh, okay, okay, no problem. And she's like, eight o'clock in the morning, get her in, and then you can come pick her up at three. And I was like, all right, well, I can definitely pull that off. So all I did on Wednesday was I stayed home, I slept, woke up, felt sick, went, went sick, back to bed. And what it is, is there's this fucking flu going around right now. And when you work in an office, holy fuck, where's the road, Adam? You're like driving on two lanes right now, for freak's sake, get over. But, um, yeah, like, uh, you know, you got co-workers at work who have kids. Kids are in school. school. They go to school. They pick up the Ebola virus from one of their friends, bring it home, share it with the family. The family gets sick, doesn't realize they're contagious and sick, comes to work, infects the entire office, and then we go home, and then we, like, it's just a fucking pandemic spread show. That's how she goes, you know? It's, it's, it's fucked. So... And like no matter what you try to do, you can't avoid it. You're gonna get sick if you work in an office with a bunch of people who have kids. There's no, no if, ands, or buts about it. Like for the past two days, two of our coworkers have been down for the count with the bubonic plague. And it's like, well shit, you know? Like on Wednesday, poor friggin' Bruce had to work alone. And that's going to actually be some drama in its own because there was supposed to be somebody working with him, but he refused, refused to work. You can't do that. You can't refuse work. That's like, we were told by the union, you could be terminated for that. Like, I don't mean fired. I mean, they could actually kill you, like cut your fucking head off. No, I'm just joking with you. But you can be fired over that, over re refusing work because it shows them that you're not willing to push forward the effort to help out. So in return, they're not gonna push forward the effort to help you out ever. Oh, looks like somebody's buying a Nissan. There's a dealer plate on that gray thing up there. Bruce said the red Ford, which is actually probably not a Ford. I think it's a Honda. Yeah, it's a Honda Civic. Holy shit, Adam, you're sucking at cars. You're gonna have to start doing that whole game again of whose taillights do these belong to? Thought this fucking black SUV was gonna try and push me off the road. Fucking came at me pretty quick. Uh, yeah, like, I'm anxious to see where this Windows 10 will go. You know, with voice activation of Cortana, and I heard my, my cousin has Windows Phone, and he said Cortana's pretty damn accurate and pretty awesome, especially compared to Google Voice, which sounds like a robot with a plug nose. Like, really, really, Google Voice, they need to step up their game and actually make that thing sound more like, like Siri and other voices that actually have some personality to them. Google Voice is like a fucking Terminator with a nasal problem. Hold me, Mac. You know? Google now, tell me what the weather is. The current temperature is minus one down here. You know, that kind of fucking annoying voice. Like they gotta do something. I know you can download voice packs, but the good ones cost a lot of money and fuck, I don't wanna waste money just so my phone doesn't sound like an idiot. That should be free. The non-idiot version sounding of a phone. It is what it motherfucking is. But uh, yeah, so that's kind of exciting for that. And, Kinda also makes me want an Xbox One, for fuck's sakes. Like Microsoft knew that by doing this, they would cater to a generation of gamers and I would fall under that generation because I'm a, a gamer who games for YouTube and Xbox has a bunch of the games. Like, but is that really a reason to buy a console? No. Am I gonna buy that console for that reason? Fuck no. You know, a lot of the games that are coming out for Xbox are coming out for PC anyway, so if I really wanna play them, I just gotta get them. It's that simple. 
so yeah not about to enter the uh, current gen gaming I prefer last gen PS3 is okay for me for freak sakes and I still got a lot of friends playing Grand Theft Auto on there so we can make some pretty awesome movies and uh, oh yesterday I come to work fucking office is packed tighter than a fucking hooker's vagina on a Saturday night come in today and look at all the free freaking parking eh leave it to a Friday to make parking a parking a possibility oh freak yeah Adam just leave your car's ass end out like 500 feet because you're copying this car beside you oh because you have no choice because you are already in fuck man that's a short car beside me then that's a real short car beside me yeah like I'm pretty sure that I'm into the snowbank and this thing's ass end is equal to the back end of my window. That's pretty fucked. My battery's about to die because it's a piece of shit. So I better do myself a favor and close the vlog off here. So thanks for watching my shit, people. Uh, let me know what you think of Windows 10 and if you think it's worth it, if you, especially if you have an Xbox One. Uh, like, favorite, comment. If you enjoyed the video, I really appreciate you guys watching it. You know, if you guys didn't watch it, I wouldn't make them. Break it. But anyway, people, until next time, keep on vlogging.